Chief Justice Alexander Hesmundo, Vice Mayor Guillen Soto, NCRPO Chief Major General Felipe Natividad, MMDA Chair Romando Artes, Representatives Juan Carlos Ataide of the 1st District, Ralph Wendell Tulfo of the 2nd District, Franz Pumaren of the 3rd District, Marvin Rilio of the 4th District, Patrick Michael Vargas of the 5th District, Maria Victoria Copilar of the 6th District, members of the City Council, fellow public servants, especially our barangay officials and department heads, supporters and allies, family and friends, distinguished guests, at higit sa lahat, sa mga minamahal kong mga taga Quezon City na patuloy na nagtitiwala sa amin. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Una sa lahat, maraming salamat po sa pamunuan ng Iglesia ni Cristo dahil tayo ang unang ahensya ng napinayagan ninyong gumamit ng kahangahangang convention center na ito. Dapat magsilbing halimbawa ang gusaling ito sa mga taga-gobyerno. Kapag maayos ang gamit ng pondo, ganito kagandang pasilidad ang maiaalay natin sa tao. Today, we celebrate not just our recent triumph, but all of our achievements that we will build upon together in the next three years. Malinaw ang ating desisyon or naging desisyon ng mga taga Quezon City. Nakita nila kung paano tayo naglingkod sa kanila nitong mga nakaraang taon. Servisyong may puso at walang bahid ng katiwalian at kasinungalingan. At dahil tayo ang muling inatasan ng taumbayan na pamunuan ang lungsod, makaaasa sila na tuloy-tuloy ang dekalidad na servisyong tinatamasa nila ngayon. When we began three years ago, we envisioned a government that does not only serve its people, but one that cares and provides for its over three million citizens, empowering them toward a better future. Since we assumed office in July 2019, we have received about 83 awards and recognitions, both from the private and government sectors, some even from the international community. These recognitions are from those outside looking in, recognizing the truth as they see it. We do not just make promises. We do not just talk. We make them real. Pero, Pero ang tunay na sukatan ng tagumpay natin sa ating unang termino ay wala sa dami ng awards na ating natanggap. Ito ay nasa bilang ng cute citizens na nagkaroon ng mas magandang buhay. Libo-libo ang nabigyan ng trabaho o pagkakakitaan. Nagkaroon ng permanenteng bahay at lupa. Nakatanggap ng libreng gamot at serbisyong medikal at marami pang ibang serbisyo. Nagawa natin ito bilang isang lungsod na sama-samang nagtutulungan. When we began three years ago, I shared our 14-point agenda. We all worked hard to stay true to each of those points. In the next three years, we have identified five major thrusts that we will focus on from this platform of governance. Alam na ng karamihan sa inyo ang ating mga nagawa sa nakaraang tatlong taon. Now let me show you what we will intend to do in the next three years. First, social services for all are guaranteed. Every year, we progressively increase the budget dedicated to social services. Nagsimula tayo sa 9.8 billion pesos na budget noong 2019. Ngayong 2022, halos doble ng budget na yan ang inilaan natin para sa mga programeng direktang sumasagot sa mga pangangailangan ng mga mamamayan. Our 16.1 billion peso budget for social services, which we intend to keep on increasing in the next three years, promises to be an inclusive social safety net for all marginalized and underprivileged sectors. Mula sa maagap na pamimigay ng fire, flood at burial assistance hanggang sa sinimulan nating SAP QC at Kalingang QC program noong panahon ng pandemya, sinikap nating maibsan ang hirap ng ating mga mamamayan na nasa laylayan ng lipunan. 
Ngayon, dadako na tayo sa pagpapalawig ng ating mga serbisyo. Ang ilulunsad nating Alagam QC Program, ang mas pinalawak na programang magbibigay ayuda sa mga nawalan at mawawalan ng pagkakakitaan. Halimbawa, dito ang mga jeepney driver at taxi driver na apektado ng sobrang taas na presyo ng gasolina. At hindi dyan nagtatapos ang support ng laan ng lokal na pamahalaan. A social welfare program will provide vulnerable Quezon City residents like indigent seniors, solo parents, and persons with disability with monthly financial assistance. This, this will help the most seriously disadvantaged members of our community secure rice and other basic goods that they need. In the past three years, the dream of security of tenure also became a reality for more than 17,000 families in our city. Even as I speak, the acquisition of 36 hectares of real property for distribution and the construction of more housing projects are underway. Isa rin sa naging prioridad natin ang kalusugan ng bawat Q-Citizen. Our health centers were renovated and upgraded. Additional health care workers were hired. Additional benefits were provided to our existing health care professionals. And essential medicines at our health centers and LGU pharmacies were made available and remain free to all of our constituents. Sa susunod, hindi lang District 1, District 2 at District 5 ang may local government hospital dahil malapit na tayong magkaroon ng hospital sa District 6. May sistema na ang pag-aasikaso ng mga pasyente dahil magkakaroon na tayo ng single patient record system sa ating public hospitals at health centers. Sa tulong ng information technology, matututukan ang bawat pasyente, personalized ika nga. Our students and teachers also got their share of support from the city government through the provision of learning devices, internet data, and school supplies. Their education remains unhampered despite the circumstances. Excellent and accessible education will always be important to us. Following the historic CHED recognition of our Quezon City University, we are set to establish more QCU campuses and offer additional courses to ensure the employability of our youth. On top of that, we have rolled out a comprehensive scholarship program for our students in senior high school, tertiary, or college, master and doctorate degrees, as well as for our athletes and those taking vocational courses. From more than 16,000 scholars in 2020, we are ready to provide scholarships to 20,000 students by this year. Taon-taon, dadagdagan pa natin ang mga scholarship na ito. Kasama rin sa ating mga programa ang mga QC Pet Citizens natin. Meron na tayong Animal Care and Adoption Center na dinadayo ngayon ng pet lovers. Some of our dogs are also being trained to become emotional support or community service dogs. Quezon City is likewise poised to be the nation's capital for people's participation and inclusive governance. Our Quezon City People's Council will push for the right of every individual to participate in policy formulation, hands-on implementation, and vigilant oversight, regardless of age, gender, or industry. Last week, we spearheaded a Pride March together with Pride Philippines. More than 25,000 people attended. We will continue to pursue and celebrate acceptance, equality, inclusivity, and diversity in our city. Marami pa tayong boses at kwento na hindi naririnig at tayo ang magsisilbing Ni ti, uh, magsisilbi nilang tinig. Kung dati, analog at tradisyonal ang approach sa mga sistema at proseso ng lokal na pamahalaan, binago na natin ito simula ng tayo'y naupo. Ginawa nating makabago, mabilis at epektibo ang lahat. 
we automated and digitized 95% of the city's services through our QC e-services platform. Mag-a-apply ng business permit online. Magbabayad ng buwis online na. Mag-a-apply ng building permit. Mag-a-apply para sa scholarship. Mag-a-apply para sa pangkabuhayan. Magpaparehistro ng kapanganakan. Lahat ito ay online. At ang maganda pa dyan, ang mga permit, libre pang dadalhin sa inyong bahay o negosyo, free of try charge. Pinadali ang transaksyon, walang pila, walang fixers, walang sigitan, at walang dayaan, wala ring palakasan. All these efforts are geared towards enhancing ease of doing business and easing out corruption. Higher business confidence leads to jobs, higher productivity, increased labor demand, and accelerated economic growth. Our constant coordination with the business community enables us to foster a relationship of mutual respect and support. We provided tax breaks and extended the deadlines and validity of business permits and licenses to accommodate their needs, especially during the pandemic. We continue to engage with our counterparts in private enterprises to address difficulties coming up with ways to create a free, fair, and fertile business environment. And at times when we need help, the business community and the private sector have always stepped up to complement our resources. We are truly grateful for this expression of trust and confidence. Creating jobs and livelihood remain at the core of our economic recovery strategies. We improved the business climate, not only for big businesses, but we also took a special interest in the growth of our micro and small entrepreneurs. In fact, our Pangkabuhayang QC is now institutionalized to continue providing livelihood training and financial assistance to aspiring entrepreneurs. To further strengthen and develop the city's startup business ecosystem, our startup QC program is likewise ready to take off. This program is calibrated to provide financial grants to innovative, creative, and promising business models that can help provide solutions, recommendations to social issues and concerns. Likewise, students and the academe will be given research grants for studies that would produce beneficial data, recommendations, and solutions for the city government. Ang lahat ng programang nakatutok sa paglago ng negosyo ay nakaugat sa ating paninindigan na kung maraming negosyo, mas maraming trabaho. From ease of use of e-services for our Q citizens to ease of doing business for our business community, we are here automating and innovating for a better tomorrow. As the only city with a vast green landscape in Metro Manila, we remain committed to sustainable environmental conservation efforts. We have taken our role as responsible stewards to heart, preserving and developing a city center for the enjoyment, not just of all Q citizens today, but for all generations to come. More parks will be rehabilitated, and our 93-kilometer bike lane network will be expanded to 174 kilometers by 2025. We will also add more green pedestrian walkways, or what we call Gora Lanes, to include the soon-to-be-inaugurated East Avenue pedestrian walkway. Many more are in the planning stage. The Quezon Memorial Circle will undergo extensive redevelopment to restore more green spaces. Soon, it will be a more enticing place for people to rest and relax with more facilities for sports, arts, and culture. We will also build an elevated green promenade connecting the Ninoy Aquino Parks and Wildlife to the Quezon Memorial Circle for easy access to both parks. Inspired by New York's High Line, this esplanade is positioned to transform the area into a more exciting tourism destination. 
Amid the fast industrialization and modernization of public transport, we will grow trees and plants around bus stops and train stations. We will create more community pocket parks where people can leisurely spend time with their families and friends. Together with our beloved City Council, we will initiate programs and policies that are responsive to the global issues of climate change, like our Green Public Procurement Ordinance, the Enhanced Local Climate Change Action Plan, and the Drainage Master Plan. Sustainable development is our commitment to the people of Quezon City, to our country, to the international community, and most especially, our children's children. Tungkulin natin gawing mas matingkad at mas malawak ang lunti sa lungsod Quezon. Tungkulin natin ito bilang mabuting katiwala ng kalikasan para sa mga susunod na henerasyon. Our fourth, fo our fourth focus is essential high-caliber infrastructure projects that improve the standard of living in the city. For transportation, our QC bus system has, one, has eight routes and 100 buses that Q citizens can enjoy for free seven days a week. QC ang una at QC lang ang meron ito sa Metro Manila. We have safely and conveniently ferried more than 5 million passengers to and from their places of destination. Regular commuters tell me they save up to 5,000 pesos per month that can instead be used for other essential needs. To support, to support our digital efforts, we now have 3,700 internet access points in public places as well as internet e-services kiosks in all our district offices and barangay halls to enable our citizens to access our online services. Soon, we will lay down a fiber optic network that will provide for a faster internet connection across our city. The Amoranto Sports Complex is being renovated and modernized to meet international standards and will soon host sports competitions. This will include an Olympic-sized pool, a big arena for basketball competitions and big events, a tennis court, and a track and field oval, among others. With the Amoranto Master Plan, we are also laying the groundwork for producing superior athletes of our own. We will also have our own QC meetings, incentives, conferences, exhibitions, or my center, and a science, innovation, and interactive center for our students are also in the works. We are custodians of our history and heritage. We are revitalizing tourist sites such as the Quezon Heritage House, the QCX Museum, and the Katipunan Trail, among others, to share and remember the stories and milestones of our past. The Payatas Control Disposal Facility, which began as a dump site, will soon be a beautiful open space for various community activities. Ang paligid ng Balintawak Market, na bagsakan ng maraming gulay, prutas at iba pang produkto ay sasa ilalim na rin sa makabagong anyo para maging mas maayos, kaaya-aya at ligtas ang pamimili ng ating mga suki. Baby, basic public facilities like footbridges, streetlights, and the solarization of schools and hospitals are also in the pipeline. Nasimula na natin ang Project Aurora kung saan nagdagdag na tayo ng CCTV cameras sa mga piling lugar sa ating lungsod. Kapag sabay nang gumagana pati ang CCTV cameras ng ating mga barangay at business establishments, bantay sarado na ang kaligtasan ng ating mga Q citizens. We stand here now, solid in our efforts to build quality infrastructure and will continue to reach greater heights as we realize our vision of a Quezon City that is taking its rightful place among the greatest cities in the world. 
When we pledged our commitment to good governance, we knew that the road would not be an easy one. Corruption and inefficient service have been perceived as organic to City Hall's culture. This was a battle we chose to wage, and our single-minded purpose was to ensure that no shortcuts and quick fixes would ever derail us. Kasabay nito, inilapit natin ang serbisyo sa mga mamamayan sa pamamagitan ng district action offices. Sa lawak ng ating lungsod, hindi na kailangan dumayo pa sa City Hall para lang makaabot sa tao ang lahat ng benepisyo. Pinalakas pa natin ang ating helpline 122 ang at ang ating help desk sa ating official website para mas mapadali ang feedback mechanism at pag-report ng mga emergencies, reklamo at iba pa. We are also developing short courses at our Quezon City University to equip and empower our barangay officials and members of the People's Council with skills and knowledge for good and ethical leadership. Internal housekeeping is likewise important. We are reviewing our organizational structures and right-sizing them for efficient service. We are creating new departments that will meet the needs of the present and the future. Our workforce in the city government is constantly being reinforced through regularization and the provision of necessary benefits, training, and equipment. We started our internship and training program, which is geared to develop and harvest the next batch of honest and hardworking public servants with integrity. We created and implemented the Quezon City ID, which ensures that citizens from different age groups of marginalized sectors will receive the benefits and services due to them. The accurate data from this program will help us fund the right services and improve service delivery. Walang sentimong masasayang kung tama ang lahat ng datos mula sa ating mga mamamayan. At kagabi, natanggap ko ang pinakamaganda at mainit-init pang balitang nais kong ipamalaki sa inyong lahat. Napakasakamay ko na ang report ng Commission on Audit para sa taong 2021 at tayo ay muling tumanggap ng unqualified or clean opinion sa ikalawang sunod na taon. Ibig sabihin, Congressman Marvin Rillo, pakibalita ito sa iyong mga kasama. Ibig sabihin, Naging malinis at walang bahid ng katiwalian ang ating pamamahala. Good governance is not something that you achieve and are done with. It is a continuing process that requires will and determination. We stay alert and stand firm here and now in our commitment and will exert every effort in the days to come to improve upon our hard-won gains. Noon, lagi nating naririnig na mahirap pamunuan ang ating lungsod sa laki kasi, ang ating, sa laki kasi ng ating populasyon. Pero napatunayan natin sa nakaraang tatlong taon na ang ating Q-Citizens ang pinakamalaki at pinakamalahaga nating kayamanan. Kung tunay silang mapakikinggan, papaglalaanan ng sapat na tulong at mapapakilos para makipagtulungan sa gobyerno, sila ang hindi mapipigilang puwersa ng pagbabago para sa kabutihan ng ating lungsod. Posible ang asenso sa tulong ninyo, Vice Mayor Gian Soto, ang ating City Council, mga kinatawan sa Kongreso, mga Department Heads, lahat ng kawani ng lokal na pamahalaan, at lahat ng Q-Citizens, pati na rin ang ating minamahal na barangay. Para sa inyo, ang pangalawang termito kong ito. May the grace of our Lord continue to shine upon us and may our love for our city give us the strength, power, and constant inspiration in all the years to come. Maraming salamat po, Quezon City, at mabuhay po tayong lahat.